This Maxxis Dissector has been on the rear of my bike for over six months now, so I think it's time that I give it a proper review. What's up guys, this is Brian from Down to Ride MTB. So in that six months or so, I've probably gotten about 500 miles or so on this tire. I'm coming from a Maxxis Recon, a 2.4 3C Max Terra that was on the back that I had for a while. I really like that tire, uh, but I just wanted to try something new and I wanted maybe something with a little more cornering grip. When it comes to tires, it's hard to strike a balance between something that rolls fast and also gives you a lot of grip. The Recon rolled really fast, it gripped pretty good in most situations but I just wanted something with a little more grip so one of my concerns was the rolling resistance and I can say that it you know it rolls maybe a little bit slower but definitely nothing significant and I think that rolling penalty even though it's small it's offset by the grip that you get in cornering this tire has pretty large cornering knobs but not quite as large as what you would see on like a Minion DHF or a Minion DHR. At the same time though, they're definitely larger than what you find on a Recon or even an Aggressor. So it's kind of striking that balance between a XC trail tire and more of an Enduro tire. You'll see that the center tread is highly ramped and spaced pretty close together. So that's one of the things that keeps this tire rolling pretty quick in the grand scheme of things. Now, one thing that you'll notice that's kind of odd just looking at it the gap between the center tread and the side knobs is really big. Like you could basically stick your entire finger in there. And I kind of worried about a couple things with that. I worried about punctures. That hasn't been a problem at all. Now, the other thing that I worried about was just the transition going from center to side and how that would feel. On the trail, it feels perfectly fine. Like as soon as you get off that center tread, I think that gap actually lets those side knobs start digging in a little bit better. When you're riding on the road or asphalt or something like that, which this tire is not designed for, but I just, you know, I notice it. When you, when you lean the bike over, you feel a weird zone in there, which is possibly when you're going from the center to the side and each one is kind of like flexing a little bit, kind of maybe like spreading apart. But again, this tire is not made for that anyway. So who cares about that? On the trail, it feels great. And I'll tell you, like when I first got it, I even was going on some sweeping turns kind of trying to find out when it would lose grip and just really like pushing turns, leaning over as hard as I was comfortable doing. And it never lost grip at all during that. Now, like I said, the overall grip is really good. And one good example of that is this particular section in Forest Hill Park. This is in Richmond, Virginia. You come down the trail here, you cross some roots, then you've got rocks that take you across the water. Then as soon as you get across those, you've got this little ledge here that you've got to pop up on. And now you've got wet tires that you came up that ledge with and you have to accelerate up this little rocky uphill in those two steps. And this is the only tire that I've managed to do that with. That could be partly due to my skills just progressing as I try it more and more. But I think a lot of it does come down to the grip that this tire is offering. Now, the one downside that I might point out on this tire is just the durability of it. I think because of that big gap between the center and side knobs, um, you're, you're putting a lot more pressure on those knobs when you lean over and they're starting to get undercut strangely more so on one side than the other. I have no idea why. Maybe I just push turns harder in one direction. It's not terrible. You know, like I said, it's been on the bike for a while and it's not destroyed yet, but literally if you grab onto those side knobs, you know, you can bend them over pretty easily. And I should point out, this is the dual compound version of this tire. I didn't go for the 3C Max Terra on this, but uh, I do have a DHR in the front of this bike with larger side knobs. I mean, you visually they're larger, um, but also if you grab onto them and try to bend them, they don't bend as much. So there you have it. Those are my overall thoughts on this tire. I think it's a really good rear tire for most types of trail riding. I think it strikes the, the perfect balance between grip and speed. I think for, for a lot of people, this is gonna be a great rear tire compared to the Recon, more grip, a little bit slower, not enough to be worried about. I can't say for the Aggressor because that's kind of the next tire in this kind of range. I've never ridden one of those. Is it going to stay on the rear of my bike when this wears out? Am I going to get another one? To be honest with you, I'm not sure. And that's just because I like to try different setups. I've considered putting a dissector in the front and going back to the recon in the rear for something that's quicker. But I don't know if I'm going to stick with that. Maybe keep the dissector in the rear and get something even grippier up front like a DHF. I don't know. I'm always going back and forth on that but there's still plenty of life left in this thing, so I got time to decide. So if you're thinking about getting one, I don't think you can really go wrong. If you have ridden one, you have thoughts too, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, got anything useful, 
give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.